today I got another unorthodox video for you guys. All right, this one is gonna knock the socks off the machinist world. All right, all the machine shops they might hate on this, man. Some of you might hate on this, but hey, that's what I do, man. Right here I got a one-inch piece plexiglass. Okay, and it is 18 inches by seven inches, one-inch thick. Okay, let me show you what we're gonna do here. Okay, inside here, inside here we got coolant ports, okay? Inside here too. What we're doing here is we gotta seal off all of these ports here, okay? See these two here? These two, these two, these two, and we got two more on this side. All cylinder heads have these ports, these hollow insides, all right? It looks solid in here, but it's actually not, okay? Inside here, Behind the combustion chamber, all this is hollow, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna check for leaks on the inside of here. Usually cracks occur here, in the center, or anywhere. They can happen anywhere, okay? So we gotta find out if whether or not these heads are cracked, okay? And this process works for many other heads. As long as you know how to seal off these heads, the cooler ports and the water jackets on the side, you're good to go. And you can check any head like this, all right? So let me show you how I do it. This is for the DIYer at home. Okay, these holes here. Let me tell you something about these. These are not threaded, okay? These are just dowel holes for the gasket, okay? Um, these right here, same thing. These were not threaded. These were just regular dowel holes. Same thing as this head, and I had to tap these with, threaded, uh, with a threaded tap, which is this here, okay? So what you do is this. You need to do this in some cases because you have to uh, get the water jackets sealed right. Okay, and then the only way to do that is you can, uh, the only way to do that is for you to tap the threads. Okay, so this is gonna help us get these metal plates off. Okay, this metal plate goes right here. All right, but this thread this uh, bolt is going to go in there after I tap it, and that's the deal with these. Okay, that's good. So now, what we're going to do is this. Let me show you. I got these rubber seals right here, plugging off all these ports here. These are coolant ports right here. Show them these ports. This, 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 these two here. These are all coolant ports, okay? This one. Now watch what I'm going to do. This one here. We're gonna block that off. This one, block that. This one here, no. This one here, center everything, okay? That's right there in the center. This one here, this one here. That one, that one, and there. This is good to go. So now, what you do is put your plate on, okay? You're gonna put the plate on just like that. A lot of heads are gonna have different applications as to how you're gonna inject or get the air inside there, okay? This one was used for a totally different head, okay? So on the side, this was used for the side of a head of another vehicle. I had to put it on there, then I had to bolt the plate to the side like that, okay? That was the only way I can inject air in there. But sometimes you gotta do that, man. You gotta improvise. All this is homemade, man. Okay, next, grab the plate and the head, lift it up. Position this right around these holes that are up here. This one and this one, okay? And even this out with this one here. Make the same reveal that you got on this side, put it on this side. So I gotta go in, just a hair. It's good enough. That's pretty good right there. So bring this up, just like that, okay? So just put the pressure plate on it. Smash down on it. Now I haven't tightened it down yet. What I'm doing is I'm making sure everything is equal, okay? It's lined up. Making sure everything is in line, okay? This is a little off, so I'll come back ahead. Okay, it's good to go right there. All right, so now I can tighten it down. Now. Tighten everything down. Do it evenly though. Go back and forth. Go 
gonna tighten one down, one side down more than the other first. Now, right there. I don't have a specific torque, I'm just going by feel. Okay? There's 60 psi right there. Okay, right now this is under pressure. So now, let's dip it in. Okay? Now let's put it in. Just like that. We got leakage here. Okay, see on our seal right here? We're leaking out of our seal. Okay? So bring it on this side. Let me show you. We're leaking on the seal, so I gotta clamp that down a little bit more. Okay? So, this car right here. Just tighten that up. Okay, tighten this up. Same thing. So now we gotta hit the center. Right there. So you gotta play with it, you gotta mess with it. Okay, that's not my concern though. <clears throat> my main concern is the combustion chambers, okay? Right now we have 60 pounds, so we got 60 PSI right now, okay? That's what's going inside here. I know we're leaking on that one rubber gasket there, but I'm not worried about that. So I'm looking at the, uh, the combustion chambers and we look like we're good. I don't see any leaks coming out of the combustion chamber. And if there was any more leaks on the inside of the uh, coolant ports, you would see bubbles coming out of the sides, okay? Our side is sealed here, we're sealed there, and there's nothing coming out, okay? This is from me not setting the rubber gasket on right, okay? So, this test on this head looks good. We have no cracks here. This is going to revolutionize everything, man and uh, make it doable for the DIYer at home. So I got leakage on my uh, air tip right there, the nozzle. Look at that. That's because I didn't put enough uh, plumber's tape, okay? That's the same thing you would see if we had a crack inside the cylinder head, okay? That's the same exact leak you would see, all right? But that has nothing to do with the cylinder head, okay? That's my fault from not putting the, enough tape on there, plumber's tape. All right, and that's it. Done deal right there, man. Okay, we're waiting for a while. Got nothing there. It's been on the water for about how long? Four minutes? Four minutes right there. Okay, let's take it out. Okay, that's it. Still under pressure. Look. Okay, now watch me take this off. Just so you can hear, hear the air come out. Right there. That was 60 PSI right there. All right, done deal. Okay, let's do it again. Let's put 50 pounds. 30, 40, 50, let's do 60. Okay, we're at 60 pounds, right there. Look for leaks. Go slow. What you're doing is you're looking for leaks, okay? Anywhere, even inside here, okay? You're gonna let it sit for a little while, just in case. Now, we're gonna test this head, okay? 
This is the other head. All right. This one's good. No cracks at all. All right. That's the front head to the front of the engine. Well, the radiator. And this is the rear one. Okay. Put that on. Let's give it 50 pounds. Let's go to 60. 60 psi. Okay. We're at 60 psi. Now let's put this in the tank now. Okay. Now, get this in there. We're at 60 psi right now. Okay, let's show you, let's prove it. Okay, air is going to come out of here, okay? Under pressure. It's under pressure. Let's do it again. Okay, that way you guys know I'm not faking. Zero psi. Bring that back down. Okay, hook this back up. Take this back up. 60 psi. Okay, a little bit above 60, good to go. All right, so now let's stick this in the tank. Now let's put it in the tank. Here we go. Yeah, I know. I'll get a bigger tank later. Not a big deal right now, though. Okay, let's sit and wait. Okay. Now we're looking for any leaks. So far, all good. So let, let it sit for a little bit though. Alright? Let it sit. Now show them down here. So we're looking for leaks inside the cooling ports. Anywhere. Alright? Let those bubbles wear off first, okay? Let's shake it a little. We gotta get those bubbles to come up. All right. So far we're looking good. Okay, bring it over here. Check this side. Okay, let me see. Okay, now let's look over here. So far we're looking good. I like that. I don't see any bubbles coming out. That's good to go right there. Okay, now let's go on the back side. Okay, we're looking all right here. No bubbles, what's this? Oh, that's a leftover bubble. <laughs> so we got a little over 60 PSI in there right now. And so far we have no leaks. Okay, remember this is the second head, all right? This is the, uh, the rear head. Okay, so now we're looking over here. Nothing. I'm gonna let it sit for a little while and just to make sure, okay? Now we're going on top. If you notice, I changed the padding, okay? I wanted to show you that you can use anything. What is this padding from, man? All that padding is this. I cut it up, all right? I prefer to use the other rubber for the metal bars, the pressure bars, but it's all good, man. No big deal, okay? And that's how you do it, man. That's the deal right there. That's 60 plus PSI right there. Okay, if I increase the P, the pressure, if I increase the pressure, it's going to be too much, okay? Because I don't have enough clamping force for this uh, plate to push down on that, okay? And I don't want to clamp it too much because I don't want to crack the plate because I use that for uh, many other heads. Mm. Is this worth it? For me it is, because I do cylinder heads all the time, man. Look, I do this all the time. So this is well worth it. I used to take my, uh, I used to take the cylinder heads to the shop to do pressure tests like this and to resurface them. But some of you might have seen my other video. That's how to resurface the cylinder head at home. I'll show you how to do all that right here. But is this worth it? Oh man, you better believe it, man. I save a ton of money doing this stuff at home like this, man. Big time. Look at that. That's 100, I mean, that's 60 PSI right there, man. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to increase the pressure. I'm going to show you that I don't have enough clamping force on these rubber seals in order for it to uh, hold more than 60 PSI. It may hold 70. I don't know. So bring it up. 
Okay, let's take it up to uh, 60. Let's go, let's go in like five. Let's go little by little. Let's keep going. Now watch it. Keep going. That's 70. That's 80. 90. Right there. Stop at 90. That's 90 PSI right there. Okay? Pretty soon it's going to start busting loose. All right? So, so far it's holding 90 PSI. So this cylinder head is under 90 pounds per square inch. All right? That's a lot of that's a lot of pressure. Keep in mind, your average radiator holds about 13 to 16, 18 pounds, man. This is well, well above that. You know, look, this is leaking here because uh, I didn't put enough uh, of the tape on there, the plumber's tape. All right. But check that out, man. Okay, now let's take it up to 100. Go to 100, 90, 100, right there. We're at 100 psi now. Okay. That's some insane pressure going inside that cylinder head. And we still have no leaks. That's insane. Now we're going to take it all the way up and blow it off, man. Well, not blow it off, but we're just going to bust right through the seals, okay? Go ahead, take it up. Okay, stop. There it is. That can't take it no more. All right. Now take it back down. Go back down to 90. Okay. Okay, 90. That's still letting loose. So we got a bad fitting here. Okay, bring it down to 60. Put it on. To 60. Okay. So now that's why I'm holding it at 60. Okay. But still, man, the, the pressure, the amount of pressure that's in here is just insane, man. That's big time pressure, man. So there we go, right there. This is how you do a cylinder pressure test, okay? And keep in mind, this is not a compression test. This is a cylinder pressure test, okay? There's a difference. The compression test is with the cylinder head still on the vehicle, okay? This is when you got it off the vehicle. Let me show you something. You see those little bubbles? If we had a small minute crack inside the combustion chamber or anywhere inside the uh, cooling uh, passages, if we would have had a uh, crack anywhere in there, you would see this, okay? You would see little tiny bubbles, or maybe big bubbles, coming out the uh, little minute cracks, but we don't have anything. Big time, that's good. So this just confirms that this cylinder head is good to go. So that's how you test that, and that's a wrap. The most expensive thing here was the plexiglass. Remember, that's one inch by 18 inches by seven inches. And the reason why I have it this long is because when I do four cylinder vehicles, I have to uh, account for the other cylinder, for the other combustion chamber, all right? And that's the purpose of having it at 18 inches, okay? And that's why I got it hanging over here a little bit because uh, those bolts you see there, I didn't want to take them off. So I just scooted the uh, plexiglass over to the side so it'll fit perfect inside the uh, fish tank. That's a done deal right there, man. And don't forget, man, keep your head strong, stay solid out there, man. Don't ever forget, with God, all things are possible, man. Don't ever say you, you can't do something, man. Never, ever set yourself up for failure. Don't ever think you're incapable of doing something or, achieve, or achieving something, all right? Keep your head solid, keep it strong. Don't ever back down, especially for you Christians. For all you riders for Christ, man, stay solid out there. Times are rough, times are hard, man. Do not compromise your faith. Stay firm, stay solid. Don't ever give up, man, all right? In Jesus' mighty holy name, man. Keep smashing on it. Go get it.